I've got a Jimmy Page wiring system. I want to check out. Um, this is a Gibson Les Paul 2013. It had the modern Gibson circuit board and um, quick connects and, you know, PCP board and everything. Um, I was having a problem. One of the quick connects had broken and I was getting ground hum and everything and getting in to the mini school little connectors to fix it was a nightmare because I've got big hands and I'm not the handiest person in the world so I thought it'd be easier to rip it out and put in some old fashioned pots uh, and I thought if I was going to do that why not have a bit of fun and get some get a Jimmy Page wiring harness so I went to uh, six stringed supplies and got one of the Jimmy Page kits and I put it in and what it is it's uh, it's four push pulls and a switch and you get 21 different tones now surprisingly to me there wasn't that much information online about the Jimmy Page wiring system I thought there'd be tons of stuff there's a few videos but nothing that's very clear and um, detailed so I wasn't exactly sure what I was getting in terms of the 21 different sounds so I thought it would be useful to go through them. So I've got obviously the Les Paul going into a Kemper, which at the minute is set to a 59 baseman, clean Fender amp. And uh, I'm going to record it. I'll reamp it so I, I could make a, give you a dirty sound as well. And we'll just go through the 21 different sounds and you can decide if that's going to be useful for you or if it isn't. So sound number one is just your standard Les Paul neck pickup all the push pulls are down and uh, while I'm here I'll just show you the, the pots so the volume's really smooth you don't get that horrible drop off you know where you get nothing until 7 or 8 and then it just goes loud you know really usable you know so even on like one and two. Get that back up. Same with the tone. It's got the nice uh, paper and oil capacitors. So that's uh, sound number one. Sound number two is if you just pull up on the volume neck part, you split the coil, so you're just getting coil A. So this obviously isn't hum cancelling anymore, it's just like a single coil, like in a Fender. So, single coil humbucker, okay. Now, um, sound number three, it's just your bridge humbucker, just again like a normal Les Paul. Everything on full. And sound number four is if you split the bridge humbucker. So you're just getting one of the coils, just like before. This is now a single coil. It's You're going to get hum if you're playing in a noisy patch, you know. And now you get even more options. So sound number five is if you pull up on the phase switch as well, you're not going to go out of phase because it's not in the middle, but you can choose whether you want coil C or coil D. So you can flip between the two. So now it should sound very similar, but it's a, it's a different coil, so it will be slightly different. And I'll just A, B it. You can hear the one I just played. It's darker than that one. So that must be the one nearer the bridge. It's brighter. So that's useful. I mean, if you're in the studio and you're searching and experimenting, yeah, I mean, I can't imagine you'd be using this live too much, but uh, it's, it's nice to have, I suppose. Um, now you go to sound number six, both on. 
all the push pulls in and it's just your normal humbuckers neck and bridge in parallel mm -hmm. together just like on a regular Les Paul <laughs> And sound number seven is if you pull up on the neck tone, they're not in parallel anymore, now they're in series. So it's gonna be a big fat sound. It's gonna sound very dark, probably too dark to use normally, but if you're creative and you're trying to get a, a big fat lead sound or use it in combination with the other uh, push pulls, it, it could be useful, but just on its own. <laughs> Sound number eight. What are we doing here? Okay, phase. This is the two humbuckers out of phase with each other. Remember, the pickup position is the pickup selector is right in the middle. So this is your out of phase sound, your Peter Green kind of thing, you know. <laughs> And now, if you use that, and sound number nine is if you pull up on the series parallel switch, put it in series, and keep it in phase, so these two tone knobs are both up, it sounds like this. That sounds like a cock a little bit. Sound number 10, you split the two uh, humbuckers and you keep it in phase and in parallel, so it's two single coils. And sound number 11, if you pull up on the series pot. Okay, sound number 12. It's out of phase, but it's in parallel. Sound number 13. Everything up. So it's it. it's out of phase, it's in series, the calls are split. Sound number 14, the volume knob is up, so the coil is split on the neck humbucker. So what you're getting is the coil A on the neck humbucker and your humbucker bridge in parallel in phase. <laughs> And 15. You're getting the same, but in series. So 16, um, your face is up and your neck coil is split and you're getting coil A and the bridge in parallel, but out of phase. Seventeen. is in, It's out of phase, it's in series, the neck call split. See, that's... That's really, that's more like a Brian May kind of out of phase sound. It's like a single coil. Like. It's great. 
I mean, it just doesn't sound like a Les Paul, so it's good in that sense. It's useful. 18, neck, humbucker, and the coil D in the bridge is in parallel in phase. So. <laughs> Nineteen is your neck humbucker and coil D in phase. In series. Uh, Twenty. So we got phase up. So it's neck and coil C in parallel out of phase. And finally, 21. Everything's up apart from the neck coil. Um, so it's the neck, humbucker, and coil C in the bridge in series out of phase. So and going back to tone one, which is just your neck on bucket.
So, hope that was useful. Um, if not, sue me. Thank you. Bye-bye.